The Conrad Butcher Institute is one of the research institute of Texas A&M University Corpus Christi. The institute is focused on precise measurements. Nowadays that means lots of data. So we take those measurements and we use big data technique. We've done artificial intelligence for 20 years. And with all those measurements, we created products, we created predictions, we created visualization such that our sponsors and our communities can have good information to make decisions about their environment. Conrad Blucher Institute is kind of unique in that we have full-time research engineering technicians that not only assist or support research, we also have operational capabilities. We have the ability to install, maintain, operate, repair remote data collection systems along the entire coast of the Gulf of Mexico. We have our own fleet of vehicles and boats and equipment. With regards to the disaster response, we've installed category four storm resistant data collection structures in all six major inlets along the Texas coast. Post storm event, we collect data from stations, assess damage, get stations back up and operational as soon as possible to support response activities that are taking place in the area. The data that we collect support assessment of damage. If dissemination is stopped, we have to get data back up and flowing as soon as possible to support activities to do hydrographic surveys and assess damage to get ports and harbors back up and running. Indoor geospatial research has been, I have been for years for indoor navigation, and now I got a new system, the Backpack LiDAR. I have colleagues doing UAV uh, remote sensing and photogrammetry outdoors, and I hope to do that geospatial positioning and mapping indoors, and just to make our collaboration a perfect one. So uh, this is the, uh, the Backpack LiDAR. Uh, there's two screenshots on the uh, point cloud, so uh, we, as this shows and we can scan uh, a building and the buildings, you know, the complex uh, outdoors, and we, we can also step in the buildings. So this is the capability normal UAV cannot do. Very comprehensive point cloud and the 3D information. And I believe this is very important to many of the applications. The one important application is emergency management. If we have a building on fire, by given this complete point cloud outdoors and indoors, we are able to find a evacuation route if an emergency happens. The Conrad Blucher Institute has been monitoring Packery Channel and the adjacent beaches since 2003. The beach is nourished by the cyclic dredging of Packery Channel. So the sand that's reclaimed from the channel system is then placed on the beach in an effort to widen the beaches. The sand volume changes seasonally, so the channel is monitored seasonally to determine the volume of sand available. All of this data that's collected on the depth of the channel, the shoals forming in the channel, and all the monitoring along the beach all forms the baseline information for the city of Corpus Christi. This information in combination with looking at changes in water level was utilized to develop a hydrodynamic model to hindcast what happened during Hurricane Harvey. The model results showed that there was a dynamic forcing event that forced water into Packery Channel through two pathways. This was identified as the primary forcing mechanism for the damage that occurred in Packery. This information was imperative to the FEMA reimbursement process. The Blucher Institute has the tools available to not only collect data, but also to assimilate that data, analyze that data, create models to represent that data, to assist in disaster preparedness. What drones have done is really given us the ability to just collect uh, imagery um, or measurements that we used to have to do from airplanes or satellites. So we work with a lot of different measurement technologies, uh, but drones is one of the biggest areas we work with. Here's a very advanced drone, but what we have integrated on is a laser scanner. And we can take this and we can scan scenes very, very rapidly and get very accurate three-dimensional coordinates, billions of point measurements. The ability to integrate a sensor, go out and rapidly map an area after a disaster, um, such as what we did during Hurricane Harvey, and collect three-dimensional measurements that we can very quickly assess damage. With that information, we can take that, apply it, and study for example, how much did a hurricane cause a shoreline to erode? How much structural damage was there to a building? What's the volumetric loss of that? You know, this is a three-dimensional point cloud created from a small drone. We went after the storm with a team of engineers and we're using the three-dimensional data that we collect to just assess structural damage in the region to really look at why certain structures or buildings perform better than others. And we're really pushing the forefront. We're trying to automate those things and, and ultimately get information quicker and faster to disaster responders, post-monitoring of disaster events, all those different 
different ways that we can integrate this technology and essentially help save lives, help improve more resilient structures, provide a more sustainable coastal environment. It's what we're really about with this technology.